So what we're gonna do, this is a brand new, I'm gonna make a template from scratch with GIMP right now, okay? And this template is to make YouTube thumbnails. I had to think of that word. It's kind of a gross word, isn't it? Thumbnails, really? Thumbnails, they had to call it that. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the flip? Okay, what am I looking for? Um, first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go save as new. Oh, I guess we gotta actually start one, so yes new and then it's going to say image size and what is it it's 1280 by 720 this is going to make the uh canvas size of gimp the exact size you need it for youtube so when you export it it will be ready for youtube now yes it's bigger right now but it'll shrink down nice see now we have nice room for that let's just get rid of this and now we're going to go save as uh, okay, and we're going to go, we're going to name all right away, uh, and I don't want it in documents, I want it in GIMP, because that keeps things organized. I tell you, you're going to start, as you, you're more and more creative, and m more and more productive, hello, discovering ML, GIMP, okay, we're going to call it temp, let's see, not that one. See, it knows I like templates. Templates, uh, YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so now I know what it's called, and I can always come back to this template, YouTube thumbnail, whenever I wanna make a new one, because you see, once you do it, it's done. Okay, um, that being said, let's go grab an image of me and import it. We're gonna go file, I have to think about this, open as layers okay we're gonna go and i know where i'm going I, here me i see you right there yeah okay so now we're going to import that into here now as you can see it's bigger than it's normal like although that is pretty cool now that i think about it we just may use that I think we're going to actually keep that. You know what we're going to do first? We're going to zoom out. So we're going to go zoom. See, this little, see the little magnifying glass? I'm going to click command. I'm going to click a few times. Okay. But you can see the dotted line here is the actual size of the image. So that's how big it is. Uh, so I want to shrink it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go click on it. And... I'm gonna just shrink it a little bit. And you know, if you shrink it in sideways, it's always a nice way to make you a little bit thinner. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Nothing wrong with looking a little bit thinner. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move it. We're gonna go back over to this little uh, move tool, right? I'm gonna grab that. Right there. I think I'm gonna just leave it like that. And now what I want to do is, um, oh gosh, you know it'd be really cool to add like a, like a little, a little thing. You know what I'm saying? Perhaps let's go look for something. Okay, I don't know. It looks like we're in. Okay, vectors. Um, signs. You can find stuff, free stuff online too. Um, I'm just not, oh, that could be neat. Hanging over there. What if I move myself like so? Because then I could hang it. This could be neat. Do like that. And put it so it's like right there. So this is this is you know the process here. But once I do it, once it's done, it'll be done. I think this is perfect, and we'll just have it hanging. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so now we're gonna go. I'm gonna just hit download.
to keep things simple, okay, we go with our little jing tool. I'm gonna literally take it to the bottom. So there's some dimension on it. But I think that's gonna be much better, much better. So we're gonna go to file. We're gonna go open layer as, so we're gonna open that sign as a layer, okay? So we're gonna go desktop. Then we're gonna go YouTube, thumbnail, Facebook. And then I'm gonna move it. Let me see, so I just, my little mover tool over here. Like so. And then it's little, right? So we're gonna make it bigger. We're gonna go over here to our scale tool. Make sure we're on the sign. It's gonna say you wanna scale it, and I'm gonna say, hell yeah, I wanna scale it. What? Just scale it, make it long. There we go. That's a little too long though, huh? Uh, we can stretch it out this way a little bit more. Do that, and then I don't quite need so much, it doesn't need to hang so low. Right, so we're gonna grab it. And we're gonna move it up. Here, I think I want it to be probably right, I think right there. A little bit over more. Sure. I like that. So now, you know, this is our YouTube template, so we're gonna go save. Save, we're just gonna save it because this is our, our template for YouTube thumbnails. Next, we're gonna add copy, right? So you just click on this little letter. So we're gonna go how to, I'm gonna just put this, I'm gonna make the box kind of how I want it. I'm gonna go how to, it's okay that it's small, and I'm gonna put two little dots like so, and then I'm gonna highlight the, the, the copy, and let's, first of all, let's give it a bigger size. So let's go 40. Oh, really? How about 60? I only like that. Uh, let's go 100. See, that's, that's pretty, that's, I think, we're gonna just leave it at that for now. Okay, then we're gonna click on the letters, and I, this is seriously, a, is there anything in here that kind of fits the look I want? Not really. How about B? Ooh, you know what I think would be a good one? Stencil. St I know you're in here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. You know it. Okay, so we're going to make it a little bit bigger again. So because now that we have a good a good nice big font. Look at that. How to. I mean, can you can you read that any better? Okay. How to. All right, let's even go. Let's try 30. Heck. See, I'm trying to watch my verbiage here cuz I have a mouth. It's pretty horrible. We're going to make this box. We're going to just kind of like, you know, make it a little bit and then we're going to move it. You got to make sure cuz sometimes you're grabbing the wrong spot. You see how I grabbed the sign? You, when you do that, just hit Command Z if you're on a Mac. If it's a, there's an undo somehow, if you're on a PC. So basically, we now have a template how to. I'm gonna click Save. Now we're gonna go, and we're going to duplicate this, right? And we're gonna move one and move it down here. And we're going to go how to, and we're going to go back to our little letter thing. And you don't want to go all the way back to the beginning because you lose your sizing. And we're going to go Facebook. Oh, we're going to make it bigger. Bam. How to Facebook. Now I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to go, now this time we're going to hide Facebook, okay? So that's, I have my copies up there now. And we're gonna go how to, you, to, right? Done, okay? Duplicate, uh, what's it called? How to, GIMP. Okay, now we got that, save. 
Uh, we're going to copy, uh, let's see, GIMP, YouTube, Facebook, Google. See, now all of these will be ready for us to just come back in, add a couple words. This is why we use templates. Cam Tasia. Done. See, what I'm doing is I am making a special thumbnail for each one on here. So we got Google, YouTube, oh, be organized, Facebook, Camtasia, and that's it. Okay. You know, my big thing is creating a platform across, to begin, across Facebook, YouTube, and your blog, whatever blog you're using. Um, and I'll, I'll show, mine will be the example that I use, but you can do this with, with any blog. Um, I just prefer mine because it's pretty. Um, we've got how to one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go like this and we're gonna duplicate me Right, so now there's two of me, and oh, we're gonna take this one that we're looking at. Here, close it for a second. And okay, you want to reverse something? Okay, this is a reverse tool. See this thing with the arrows? This two, this two arrows things. Watch, watch my image. I, I pointed to the screen. Let's see if you watch me. I'm gonna switch sides. Ready and go. And then what we do is we, ooh, see, now here's the tricky part. Who's this going to be? How about, this is going to be Camtasia. So we're going to take Camtasia. See, I'm putting a little chain here, okay? And we're going we're gonna to duplicate this thing here, right? We're going to get rid of one of them. You see what I'm doing? So now I'm locking this wooded thing to uh, these words, Camtasia, and we got to duplicate the how-to, okay? So I'm locking them all three together so that I can move them as one piece. Just like so. And then we're gonna grab me but the other direction me. Let's see how that goes. Uh-oh, I got somebody's in there. There we go. See, to look at things, if there's an eye, you can see it. Just, just hide it. So now we've got a Hatsu Camtasia. Okay, but I've got to remember that. So let's put these things together. How to Camtasia. Matter of fact, we'll just put, we'll separate it by where the images are. Okay, this one goes up here. So basically, I know now that whenever I'm pointing, whenever I'm pointing this way, so now when I add words uh, to this, then, then it'll all be over there to the left. I should have taken another one with it. Let's get rid of, now I want to get rid of these things here. Get rid of Camtasia. We're going to move Google. Hello. See, sometimes it takes a little bit to grab it. How to Google. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this down. So I want everything that goes with this sign below this image, because this image points to that sign. This image points to this sign, so these things will be over here. This one points to that sign. So, and you know what else? Let's, let's move be organized. So we're going to see that. We're still in the move. So again, we're basically, we're building a template so that we never have to do this again. And it's all going to be, all I'm going to do is come in here, fill on this, oops, son of a, undo. Undo. There we go. Okay. So now... Yeah, so it's be organized or Google or see, so it's all done. And then everything up here, if I don't want to look at these, right? I guess we'll always leave that on. This, how to Facebook, how to YouTube, how to GIMP. 
and then I can add whatever the rest of the what how to Facebook what 